was the match before finals, and all through the George R. Brown Convention Center, not a creature wasn't stirring, not even the mentors. Their seasons had ended, their eyes set ahead, with hopes that a game hint soon would be said. But what to their wondering eyes should appear but a splash and a drop? The water game was here! First 2024 through 25 season theme was revealed with a wave of excitement at the 2024 World Championship event. The water game has long since been an in-joke in FRC, extending well beyond the bounds of our program. To FTC, VEX, and even a webcomic run by a former NASA engineer, XKCD. On this episode, we're covering the history of the water game, game hints, and the one game where water actually made it onto the field. Coming up on Rewind. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. The water game appears to go back as far as game theory itself, with what little we know from Chief Delphi back in the day indicating that this was an in joke as far as the internet existed. So we're heading back into the vaults of knowledge to investigate when the water game speculation started. The oldest open thread on Chief Delphi is titled Possibility of First Game in Water? Created June 3rd, 2001 at 4.07 a.m. For the first time on the internet, firsters speculated on what an FRC game would look like underwater and quickly refuted every single argument. While a game in water would attract more television viewership, the barrier to entry for rookies would be astronomical. While the water game would be interesting and fun to play, setting up the field and finding space to practice would not be. The phrase would stick around well past the thread for 24 years now. However, some of the wording in this thread indicates that the idea had been thrown around before, undocumented. Chief Delphi user Matt Lease starts his post out with the phrase, I believe the general consensus every time the idea of a water game is brought up. Peter Cooper on Reddit going so far as saying that he can confirm that Water Game was a meme at least as far back as 1999. So what started our obsession with water? The 1993 game was a turn for FIRST Robotics, from the MIT course 2007, into its own separate competition. Control systems changed, robots became larger, and match dynamics became more defense-oriented, as robots were allowed to move around the field more easily. The 1993 game featured four robots all competing against each other to score two different sizes of dodgeball in their home goals. Smaller dodgeballs were easier to manipulate, but weighed more, despite being the same type of ball. In order to achieve this, first filled these dodgeballs with water, creating the first and only true water game. These one-point balls proved to be a nightmare for teams, ranging from unclear filling instructions in the manual to leakage on the actual field. Many teams opted not to use them, going for the clear strategy of sprinting to the middle and grabbing two of the larger dodgeballs for five points each. Rug Rage was a year of change. Less teams competed in 93 than 92, and there's less footage than the, from the inaugural season. However, it is key to figuring out why the water game is so prevalent in competitive robotics culture. Water was on the field. Fields also weren't completely set in stone yet, changing from year to year. Robotics students are obsessed with the what-ifs, the creativity of what could come next. Leading students to think of water in this context provided the jumping off point for a number of conspiracies, somewhat based in reality. Before we get back to this video, we'd like to thank Animark for their continued support of fun content. Go to Animark.com for your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Featuring over 200 years of combined experience, Animark has now been in business for over 20 years servicing first teams and beyond. From electrical and mechanical, anything you may need, go to Animark.com to see how they can help your team and to get some of the best quality parts and superior service that your team deserves. 
The reality of robotics in the 90s was that new innovative competitions were popping up left and right. Two of those competitions had to deal with underwater remote operated vehicles. Mate ROV and Seaperch were both established in 1997, with Seaperch going through the familiar route of MIT course to educational robotics competition. With their C grant, more students were able to experience creating an autonomous underwater vehicle in clubs and classrooms at the high school level. Many first teams participated in both programs, with the most famous of those being the former FRC Team 842 Falcon Robotics that became the subject of the movie Spare Parts. While these other competitions had successfully run robots underwater, none were as ubiquitous as the FIRST program. It made some amount of sense that FIRST may, at some point, capitalize on this market, leading to the possibility of a game in water. From regional competitions to the international level, underwater robotics was a field that was within reach in the early days of FIRST Robotics. As the program progressed and standards developed, it has become more clear that a true water game would be far beyond the scope of the current program. But extrapolating on the zany when we know so little is something that firsters have done since the beginning and will continue to do as long as we have the crumbs to follow. First Dive is the next in a series of yearly themes that have happened since the 2016 season. Themes have united each of the first programs under a common umbrella since 2019, emphasizing progression and program unity. Themes have ranged from steampunk to Star Wars, from electricity to steam. Reveals of the theme happen at the championship event, and sometimes earlier, making this year's the earliest that we've ever known anything about the coming year's game. Before themes, first used to provide a game hint in late December, giving the community a chance to guess at an aspect of the game. Impossible to know if solved correctly, and often more confusing once pieced together, Game hints were incredibly popular, popular to speculate on as the season grew nearer. In one of the last game hints versus theme reveals, in late 2013, first put out a string of numbers in a blog post. 8234 slash 57, 61126/1963, 62326/15806. After 786 posts speculating about what these could mean, Zip codes, coordinates, fractions, George 1902 stumbled on a common thread. Each of these numbers corresponded to the birth date and number of assists that the owner of the assist records in their respective sports had gotten. In retrospect, this suited aerial assist quite well, cluing us in to a key aspect of the game before we even knew the name. While the ocean theme may not tell us about an element of the game, it has succeeded in drumming up the hype for the coming season. The excitement behind the water game is a tradition backed by more than 30 years of speculation in FRC. From the origin of the thread on Chief Delphi in 2001, to the game with actual water in 1993, speculation of the outlandish has been a common pastime between the off-season and build season. While we have a water game this year, first we'll throw something at us every year that will keep us guessing. But until then, thanks for the rewind. Make sure you subscribe to the Fun Robotics Network YouTube channel. And if you enjoy the show, give it a like. Let us know your guess for the 2025 game in the comments or any other topics you want to see covered next time on Rewind. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started.